Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. Southern Topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wayne. He is Nate. Today on Copper Drop, we were looking at a still book for the film, The Shawshank Redemption, and he's going to tell you about it on social media down in the description below. I could, I should have made a transition about how people in prison can't be on social media. But they are, quite yeah. often. YMW Melly, he's a rapper, he's in jail. He came out with a full album. It's true. Um, so, shout out to all our homies that are incarcerated. If it's for something stupid and petty, like a possession of marijuana charge, we really hope that gets changed and you get set free. But, hey, while you're watching and hiding from your corrections officer, scroll down to the description box below, pop it open, you'll find links to all of our social media accounts. Uh, maybe not for our prison homies, unless you have a fat commissary. you also find links to our coffee account and our Patreon account. So if you would like to help us help our channel grow, we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, donate three cigarettes. Whatever you can give would be very helpful. We'll sell them as singles, like real New Yorkers. Yeah, they're called Lucy's. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking guy. But now we're going to get into the still book. On the front cover, we got what I seem to believe is your favorite color. As the background, the sky, that's that purple. Yeah. So what you thinking, dog? I'm going to let you take the reins on this one since um, you're the purple fiend. I fucking love this. Uh, you know, all right, so we obviously do not need to sell the greatness of the Shawshank Redemption. Quite often makes, you know, greatest movies of all time lists. Uh, and deservedly so. It's an excellent, excellent movie. Uh, in terms of a steelbook cover, this is beautiful, man. You got, like, uh, the minimalist, like, guard towers and the fence in the background. Uh, you know, obviously them sitting on the, the bench, but it blends in really well. So even though the background is obviously not the background from the film... The way that they blended the bench and them into it is beautiful. Uh, that is a great purple. Uh, I personally prefer a little bit deeper purple, and and almost wish that this is still beautiful. I'm not like you know over knocking this or anything. I, the only reason I wish it was a deeper purple was just because it would just be because it would contrast even more with that white. Um, but you get that in the lettering. Yeah, but it's like I think what I love about this is like so you have them in like definition right like in the actual form okay definition and then everything in the back is like more abstract yeah right and like that's sort of symbolic of how they have to like form this mentality in prison and that like you know what matters is the people that are on our side and everything else we have to just kind of treat as background noise and deal with only when we have to so uh that may be a bit of a reach but it's, you know, what I gathered from this piece of art, which is subjective. And I really like it. That's actually a good point. I was thinking the symbolism, too. Just look at, like, I think you're right because of that. Because look at how they're sitting. Mm -hmm. Red, played by Morgan Freeman. Mm -hmm. The OG, he's up. Tim Robbins is down. He's a newbie in prison. The whole movie, he's looking up to Red. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Eye contact. Mm -hmm. Good filmmaking transported into good still book making that's what we like to see son that tells a story and i like stories that's why i watch movies for stories mm -hmm. and this still book tells a story it's a still book that tells a story son <laughs> on the back you got the prison wrapping around first mm -hmm. let's hit the spine all white spine mm -hmm. purple shawshank i'm cool with that mm -hmm. because it would look stupid to have two different tones mm -hmm. so I'm okay with the white spine. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Yeah, the back, same thing as the front, just without red and uh, the bench. Yeah, Tim, I forgot his character's name. I know it's Tim Robbins though. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. Back like you said simplistic, beautiful. Yeah, it's more the same. Like, you know, I'm almost gl the front is so great to me. I'm almost glad they didn't touch the back really because it's like this. This is. Uh, Simplicity at its most beautiful to me. Yeah. Love that. Less is more. That's why Strange running with like small titties. What? On the inside, you got that famous scene from the movie, and they could have easily put that on the front. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my still book that I own, that's like either the front or the back. Mm -hmm. But then you got your deep purple in there, dog. Look yeah. You. you know, I'm almost wondering if this is like a weird nod to Prince because there's literally purple rain on the inside of this steel book. It's a reach! Uh, but hey, that's a scene from the movie. It makes sense, but it's not just any scene from a movie. That's like the scene from the movie, yeah. right? So kind of an easy go-to, but like we've talked about before, 
this is a great fucking inside cover because you still have the purple and the rain on the part that's going to be covered by the discs, but there's no other image that's going to be covered up. So even when the discs are disc discs, what yeah. your ass say? Even when the discs are in there, you still going to have Tim happy and looking up into the sweet, sweet freedom. It's great. Why'd you say dicks? I, no, I went to say discs, but I missed my S. So I said dicks, but I corrected myself really quick. And then I realized that I said dicks. So then I repeated it. And I guess you just didn't catch it when I did it the first time. Not going through your browser history at all. Disc. I'm not ashamed. You got the deep, dark purple disc, and then you got the light purple that matches the front. Good job. Less is more. They didn't need to do anything to them. That's perfect. Yep. Fully agree. These discs go great with this steelbook. Uh, they didn't just do the generic black. Like, it's going to fit in really well. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Name of the show, Copper Drop. I already own this steelbook, and I don't watch it enough to justify buying it again on steelbook. So it's going to be a drop. But this is one of those things if I'm like at the local like Blu-ray, like used Blu-ray store, and I see this for like 16 bucks, mm -hmm. it's going to be one of those, well, I'm here, I got to buy it. But as of right now, it's like, I don't really need this. But for you, I feel like you'll have a different answer. So what's your answer? Copper drop. I am going to have a different answer. I do own this movie already. I don't have it on Steelbook. And that's true because I sold you mine because I bought mine on Steelbook. And... This is 100% a cop for me. In fact, I don't know if it's already on pre-order or not, but as soon as we're done filming today, please remind me to do this. And I do not say that about a lot of films, but I fucking love this. Uh, this, I mean, this movie is like, it's a piece of cinema history. It's going to stand the test of time. It's not going to go anywhere. And this steelbook is absolutely gorgeous, and I love everything well, about it. that's wrong. It is going to go somewhere from the Best Buy to Mexico store to your... Blu-ray shelf. Huh, well, that's that's where it's going. Yeah. If it's going to your Blu-ray shelf, tell us down below in the comment section. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video. And subscribe. It's not a game. It's a